it's Sal here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're well. So today we are going to be having a look at some brand new fragrance mists that I have purchased. These were all blind purchases actually and um, they were based on some recommendations that I got from some of you on Instagram. I did um, ask like on my Instagram story for body mist recommendations because I actually didn't know like where to start there are so many and um and I got some I got a lot of recommendations from you guys actually so thank you so much for that it really did it, it made things so much simpler for me because there are hundreds of mists out there and I had no idea which ones to like purchase, which ones to avoid and things like that. So um, so some of you actually recommended some to me and those are the ones that I've purchased. I had never tried them before. <laughs> so these were all like complete blind buys um, and I'm gonna be trying them like for the first time today with you. There is one here, there is one I've already tried and I'll tell you which one it is when I get to it. So there are six here, I've tried one already, but like the other five are completely new to me and I'll just be like trying them with you today on camera and sharing my like first impression thoughts on them. Um, I'm really excited for this video actually, it is something a bit different. I've never really dabbled with body sprays on my channel. They have kind of intrigued me though, like I've seen um, things here and there on social media to do with body mists and I didn't really Again, like I just didn't know where to start. So because you guys recommended some to me, I've now made a start. I would like to give a big thanks to Goo Goo Hair for sponsoring the video. Um, I have previously worked with Goo Goo Hair before and this time they've sent me another set of Halo hair extensions in like a slightly different color. So previously they sent me some extensions in, in my natural color, but this time they've sent me some with um, nice little highlights um so they actually add a little bit of a dimension to my hair color as well um i think they look absolutely incredible and they've actually blended really easily with my hair i wasn't entirely sure how these would work out but they've blended really nicely this is the full length here these are in the 20 inches and um the thing I really like about Halo hair extensions is just the fact that they're so easy to put in. It's just one piece of hair, you guys. You simply pop it on and um, it's really straightforward. I'm quite a low maintenance person. I don't like to spend ages on my hair, ages on my makeup and things like that. So, you know, if there's a quick fix to getting long luscious hair, I'm, I'm going to be interested in that, of course. So I would say it probably takes me like five to ten minutes to put the hair extensions in, which is really, really quick. Um, but yeah, these are these are the ones that I chose here. These are these are the Halo style. Um, I think they look fantastic. I really like them. They arrive in this really beautiful presentation box. Get this really cute little satin bag to keep the hair in nice and tidy. In this little bag, you get some adorable eyelashes here. You also get this nice scrunchie and like a hair clip as well to help you when you're putting the hair in and things like that. The hair itself is really good, very easy to put in. I think they look fantastic. Um, I will leave my discount code on the screen here if you want to try out some for yourself and get a little bit of money off as well. And now it's time to move on to the fragrances. Um, I think first up I'll show you the one that I've already tried. So this, this isn't gonna be like a first impression because I have tried it before. Um, and that is Bear Vanilla from Victoria's Secret. Um, I did actually pick up the matching um, fragrance body lotion. So I have the Bear Vanilla spray and also the body lotion. Like I mentioned, all of these sprays are completely new to me, but actually it's my first time trying like a fragrance lotion from Victoria's Secret as well. So it was really nice to give this one a try. It smells gorgeous, you guys. So the way that it describes it, is a whipped vanilla soft cashmere skin to skin 
and um, it does kind of remind me of like whipped cream if it was vanilla scented. It has that nice like light, very sweet vanilla kind of smell, very easy on the nose. Um, and I would say like the fragrance of this lotion is fairly strong. It's quite interesting to start thinking about, you know, the different ways I can use these with my actual perfume collection and things like that. So that is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Body Lotion, which I do really like. The smell of it is just, it's just a very likeable smell. If you enjoy the smell of vanilla, you know, in general, then I would say you're gonna like this. Um, and, and this mist here, the bare vanilla it basically just smells like the 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 body lotion of course yeah very very nice pleasant easy on the nose sweet to vanilla kind of scent it is actually kind of nicer than i was expecting i don't really know what i was expecting but i wasn't really expecting it to smell this nice to be honest with you um so yeah i've been really enjoying this one with this lotion. I think they smell really nice. It kind of reminds me of like whipped cream or, or vanilla marshmallows, that type of thing. But for some reason I don't actually find this like too sweet. I don't know if I can smell it so well on this strip. I suppose it's not the same as a perfume so maybe I should just like spray them in the air. <laughs> just this fluffy puffy vanilla cloud you guys. Smells really nice. Out of all of the Victoria's Secret body mists, this is the one that was recommended to me the most from you guys like over on Instagram. Um, a lot of you said Bare Vanilla from Victoria's Secret and I can see why. It's a very very likeable fragrance and again I can see this one being nice to layer with other perfumes. These are all very new so I've not really I haven't experimented with layering or, or anything like that, but I definitely think I will. And um, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in any videos featuring these again, you know, like any layering combinations that I discover or like just how often I use them. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in hearing more about these fragrance mists and then I can do more videos on them, like no problem. Um, so that's that one there, Victoria's Secrets Bare Vanilla. Thank you to those of you who like suggested this one to me on Instagram, I do appreciate it. I do like it. Um, and I, I do really enjoy wearing this one with like the matching lotion. Next today we have another one from Victoria's Secret and that is Midnight Bloom. This one here in the really pretty purple packaging. Um, and I would say along with Bare Vanilla, this was another one that um, was recommended to me a lot both on Instagram and actually in some YouTube comments, I believe. I think I remember a few people mentioning this one. Um, I think I think in the comments of YouTube, a few of you had said it, it reminds you of Cloud. Um, so I'm quite interested to try this one. I have heard, you know, that, it, that it's reminiscent of Cloud from Ariana Grande. And um, just on the whole, it seems to be another well-liked fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret. So I think what I'm gonna do, I might just spray them in the air because it seems a bit, like the spray goes everywhere and if I'm trying to spray on a little test strip, it's a bit, <laughs> I don't know. So I'll just, I'll just spray this one in the air and see how we get on. Oh my gosh, that smells a lot like cloud. Oh my gosh. I'm getting that like creamy coconut cream woody kind of like kind of light slightly lactonic kind of sweetness in here the same exact kind of sweetness that you get from cloud that smells so like comforting it smells so nice and sweet and I can see this one being really good for layering as well actually um that just smells so nice, you guys. Um, I think the way they describe this one, it says Moonflower, Creamy Woods, Star-Crossed Lover. So I suppose it's not it's not really giving us much there, is it? It's just kind of... Um... <sighs> so that one is Midnight Bloom from Victoria's Secret. Um, as a first impression, I do really like it. 
Um, it definitely reminds me of Cloud. I look forward to seeing how this will integrate into my like perfume collection, if it will be nice to layer with, or if I will just enjoy wearing it on its own. I think it'll be interesting to see. But certainly as like a first impression, I would say that I, I do really like this one, especially as I no longer have Cloud in my collection. That's one that I did move on. And um, I kind of regret moving it on a little bit because it's nice to have that fragrance to hand. Sometimes if you are in the mood for that, you know, so now that I have this, I don't think I'll miss Cloud quite as much, if you know what I mean. So that's that one there. Another fantastic recommendation. I have a feeling these are going to be like really good, you know, because you guys have recommended them. And um, not only did you recommend them, but a lot of you were like telling me why why you thought I'd like them and things like that. So again, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, that's that's a success for sure. Midnight Bloom from Victoria's Secret. Now we move on to fragrances from Bath and Body Works. I am so, so excited to try these, you guys. Um, Bath and Body Works is, is a company that I hear a lot about, kind of on on YouTube, um, they pop up a lot and um, people seem to really, really like their fragrances and, and their body lotions actually. Um, so of course I was really excited to give them a try. And again, these are fragrances from Bath & Body Works that were recommended by you guys. So I am really excited to try them. Um, so I think first up I'm gonna try out one that I'm actually really intrigued by and that is called You're The One. And I have to say, I really, really like the packaging of, um, I like the packaging of the Victoria's Secret as well, but I would say out of the two, the packaging for the Bath and Body Works are like more creative because like with the Victoria's Secret ones, they all have this very similar kind of look. If you know where I'm coming from, like the same kind of cap, the same, like <laughs> the same kind of look, but with the Bath and Body Works ones, they all have like completely different designs on the bottles, like different textures, different like glitters, different fonts with like the words and things like that. Like it's just very, each one is quite unique. They're very eye catching and I do really like the packaging right off the bat. Um, so you're the one. It does actually tell us a little bit about what's in this one. So it says white birch, velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar. You're confident, sparkling, and beautiful. What a nice description of a fragrance, you guys. Um, so I think, again, I'm just going to spray these in the air because it seems... Or will I spray it on a blotter? I might try because if I keep spraying them in the air, it's going to fill up the... <laughs> I don't know, they might all end up mixing together. So I'll try and spray it on here anyway. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, you definitely get that strawberry nectar vibe. And this one kind of reminds me of shampoo right off the bat. Not in a bad way, just in the sense of it smelling quite clean and like bubbly fresh. Almost in the sense of like, you know, the, the suds that you get from shampoo when you're actually in the shower, like the way that it foams up. And, um, and exudes a really nice smell. This is reminding me of that kind of experience for some reason. Yeah, there's something slightly like soapy in here. It's reminding me of shampoo, maybe body lotion or like um, shower gel even. I can see this being a really nice easy reach grab and go type of fragrance for every day or like say if you're fresh out the shower and you're running to the shops or or if you don't know what to wear, for example, and you're just wanting to smell pleasant, I can see this being a really handy one to have, actually. So as a first impression, I would say that I like it. I don't know if I'm crazy about it, because like I say, I can get quite a bit of that strawberry, and I don't know if strawberry is um, a note that I necessarily get on with an awful lot. I, I don't mind it in Montal's Mucolat, and I don't mind it in La Nuit Tresor Eau de Parfum, because like, I feel like it works really well in those fragrances, but in here it is quite a light, sweet, shampoo-y kind of strawberry note. <sighs> yeah, like I think I'll, I'll update you guys. Like I can do another video update on this if, if you like, let me know in the comments. Um, but I can update you and let you know how I get on with them. As a first impression, I do like this. I don't know if it's a total love. 
it is really nice though. And I think the other thing to bear in mind, the more we spray these around, like the less I'm gonna actually be able to smell. So as like towards the end of the video, I might not be able to smell that well. So that might influence what I think about these. But like I say, I can give like a, an update later on. <sighs> yeah, you can get a bit of the woodiness as well. It's overall a very light, like you can definitely tell that this is a, a body mist. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't smell to me like an actual perfume. It smells like a light, um, eau de toilette kind of smell, you know, the type that you would just spray to smell kind of nice, sweet, pleasant. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a pleasant shampoo-like kind of smell. So that is You're the One from Bath & Body Works. I do really, really like this packaging. I think it's so pretty with that holographic feature on there. Um, so at the moment I would maybe give this one like five or six out of ten for how much I like it. And I would maybe give the Victoria's Secret ones like a, a seven or eight out of ten because they are really, really nice. That one's nice as well though. So that was You're the One. Um, next up I might go to one that I have actually briefly tried before this video and that is Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. I did briefly try this one as well because I kind of wanted to see how this one would, would compare to the Bare Vanilla. What I was thinking of doing actually is doing a comparison video between these two so let me know if that's something you would be interested in and um, I can certainly do that for you but I kind of wanted to see how this one would like compare to that one if they would be similar at all or you know. That's really reminding me of something actually. Hypnotic poison? There's something almondy in here, no? Or is it just my nose being crazy? There's something in here reminding me of hypnotic poison. The eau de toilette, no joke. That's really interesting. So I would say, like right off the bat, these two vanilla ones seem quite different to me and again I can do like a full comparison video if you would like to help you decide which vanilla body mist to go for but to me initially initially this one is smelling more like a nutty vanilla I wonder if it says anything on the back fine fragrance mist vanilla sparkling sugar and creamy sandalwood maybe it's the sandalwood in here that's reminding me of hypnotic poison because that fragrance does have sandalwood as well and of course it has vanilla, so very, very nice, you guys. And again, I can see this one being a really nice one um, to layer with. Maybe maybe another fragrance with vanilla in it also that, that, could, um, that I could amp up the sweetness with. I could maybe use this one or the other bare vanilla. Um, but I think these will all be really nice for layering. And yeah that smells really nice I do like that one I don't know offhand which one I prefer out of warm vanilla sugar and bare vanilla I don't know offhand like I would need to think about it but I do like them both so I would rank like these two the same so maybe like seven ish out of ten next up we have in the stars and again this is another one that was recommended to me by you guys on Instagram. Um, the notes of this one we have sandalwood, musk, sugared, is that tan tangelo? I actually am not quite sure what that is. And white agarwood. So I'll give this one a wee spray. This one is definitely fresher than the other ones. Um, so where the, the two vanilla ones that I mentioned are more warm, inviting and gooey and sweet. Um, this one, this one is a bit fresher in like, I suppose the musky kind of way. It says, it says, make every moment glow with an addictive fragrance that radiates from start to finish like the stars above. Another really nice description there. So as I'm smelling this, um, I like it. I don't know if I like it as much as the vanilla ones that I mentioned before. It's it's nice, but again, I think I'll have to come back with an update. Like, I'll have to test them out. This is a first, first impression, by the way. Like, I've never smelt this one before now. Um, same with the other ones, um, with the exception of the few that I mentioned. But this is like a total first impression. So um, 
like I'll need to come back and do a more in-depth kind of video. But yeah, it certainly smells pleasant. Um, there's there's a freshness in here that um, I don't know if that'll bother me or if that will actually be quite nice after a while. I'm not quite sure, but I'm getting like a fresh musky nature from this. Um, and maybe something slightly woody, but it is, it's definitely a very pleasant fragrance that I, I will try out more and I will update you guys in like an update video. So that one is in the stars. And again, the packaging is so pretty with this one. I think it's so cute. Like really 10 out of 10 for their packaging. I think they're really fun. It's like a really fun product to like purchase because they're all different packaging and things like that. So I did notice that about it. And um, that's that one there. And I think I have uh, the last one now, actually. And I, for some reason, I picked up the smaller bottle of it. And it's Into the Night. Again, from Bath and Body Works. Ooh, that's really nice. It definitely has a deeper feeling to it. It's making me think of nighttime more, as you would think from, from the name, you know. It definitely has a richer, deeper... That's really, really nice. Again, is it reminding me of something? I don't know. I think it might be reminding me of something, but I can't think... I can't think what it is, but... This one is really nice. It's kind of deeper. It's still sweet, but actually it's not too sweet. I wonder what the notes are of this one. So we have... Oh, it doesn't say. It just says, Into the Night, Fragrance Mist. So it doesn't actually say what the notes are. Am I getting something fruity in here, like a plum, or...? I'm getting something maybe deep, slightly sweet, fruity. This fragrance is really, really nice, you guys. Oh my gosh, these were all fantastic recommendations. Um, but this one's almost reminding me of more of a nighttime version of, say, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. It's reminding me of that kind of a fragrance, maybe like a fruitier version of Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb and like a nighttime version of it. Um, it's reminding me a little bit of like YSL Mon Paris, but like a darker version. It's really, really nice. I think I'll really enjoy wearing this one. In a way, I'm kind of annoyed that this is the one that I um, decided to pick up a smaller bottle of. I should have gone for the bigger bottle, but oh well. I do really like this one as well. Another fantastic recommendation, you guys. Thank you so much for your suggestions. Um, a lot of you suggested uh, body mists from Sol de Janeiro and also Lush. So these are ones that, like, I've taken a note of all of your recommendations, like, when you told me on Instagram. And I will probably do, like, a follow-up video showing more of the, the fragrances that you recommended from the other brands. But, like, today's video was focusing just on... Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works, but like I say, I will probably try a few more from Lush and um, Sol de Janeiro. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Don't forget to check out Goo Goo Hair's fantastic high quality Remy Human Hair extensions. Um, I will leave their details linked below. Thank you again for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon on the next video. Bye.